All right, if you're looking for one file size to be representative of many images, for example, on our magnet sheet, you're going to have to set up some rulers. So to do that, open up the file you require, and go to View, Rulers, and Show Rulers. Okay, what you're going to get is the sheet across. So in inches, you can see that this is just a larger than 8 inches, the file across, and the horizontal, same deal, it's about 11 inches down. So if you're dividing the pages evenly, you might want to go for about an inch and a half or four, have two inch files depending on where you're going. To have uh, vertical rulers, you must start from the dark gray of the vertical measurement and pull towards the screen. Then you can see where your rulers would fall. So if I want to be on three inches, I would land right there and I would leave my ruler. If I want to have one going across the horizon, I start at the horizontal ruler along the top and bring it down and then go, that's a two by three magnet. So I know my file size is marked by that. And you can have multiple magnets, so the next one you'd be going down to four every two inches and then that you'd have your two inch spacing. Now, one thing to note about doing this is when you have a color in your background, make sure the color is the same one on all of them or you allocate space for the bleeds. So if I want to have a color background, let's say the background file is and it's over the video recording button, sorry. Okay. Let's say my background file is green. But I wanted this magnet to be white. If I just simply made another box and put it in that spacing and then just made it a white background, uh, there are errors that could occur, so I do not recommend doing this, okay? If you're having one solid background color, by all means, this is the way to go. If you decide that you want to have multiple colors as the background, for example, maybe all the files on the first column are the green background, but the next one is going to have a red background color, what you're going to do is called add the bleed to your measurement. So you're going to add another ruler that gives you about a quarter inch bleed. So you see the spacing between. And extend your green to go right on into that. Okay? And same deal, then you'll have a quarter inch bleed on the next file. So that would be the file of the next bleed. And that would be where your next file line would start. And then if you're going three inches from there, you're going to add on your three inches from there. So one, two and you'd be able to do two inches from there. So you could have two, I could count, four to five to six. So you're gonna go right, two, 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 four to seven, right there, okay? And so now for this shape, you could easily have, if you want it to be red, for example, sorry, it's gonna look Christmassy, you could have that go from those files and then that gives you spacing to allocate for your bleed. So you have the first magnet with the file here and the file here, but you know that you're going to have extra bleed room, extra bleed room, and then your file will start. Hope that makes sense. Okay. Um, have a good day.